Today I'm starting to put together a couple of knives and I've got a couple of boxes that's usually in my um, sea container with all of my knife making gear. Um, my tiny little belt grinder and I'm going to start a couple of knives from scratch. Um, this is just 1084 knife steel or knife billet. Uh, you can get it in a whole range of forms. This is just pretty much a 50 mil or two inch uh, flat bar. I think it's 3.2 mil thick. Uh, why 1084? Well, it's a high carbon steel and um, it's super easy to heat treat. So there's not much rocket science into heat treating that. And yeah, I'm just going to freehand a knife uh, design. I started one yesterday, um, which is pretty much just uh, like a little uh, kitchen knife I'm going to make. So this first process, I just glue the piece of paper onto the steel and then draw out the knife that I'm going to make. Yeah, so now I've pretty much got the basic shape of the knife um, drawn out. It's about a five to six inch blade on it. Just like a bit of an all-rounder style knife. But yeah, next step is to cut it out using just a basic battery grinder and a cutting disc. And do the rough cutting out on a vise and go from there. Right, now we've got a fairly basic sort of shape going on here and um, in the shearing shed here we've got access to a little bench grinder so I'm just going to use that to take off um, some of the rough edges and then finish the rest of it off on the belt grinder plus I use a range of um, hand tools as well I've got um, some files or whatever so in the little tricky spots in here and whatever else you can use hand files Yeah, well that's about it for the Savo. Um, gonna go back and do a bit of gardening. But um, yeah, I'm pretty pretty happy with the shape of that now. Uh, so the next step is to, I'm gonna grind the bevel. Um, I'm not gonna go all the way. I'm gonna go like, um, and a dog and a sheep leg. Cool. Uh, I'm not gonna grind it probably like 70 80 percent of the way and i'll do the rest once it's hardened yeah so i just mark a line um, in the middle of the steel i've got a black texture draw it in black and then scribe a line down the middle so yeah when i grind it i grind it to the middle on both sides um, almost to the middle i leave about half a mil thickness in the middle and i'll do the rest of that when um when it's hardened I don't know if the light shows that, but um, I've got two scribe lines there and a bit of meat in the middle and I just grind down to that um, and that's where I leave it until I do the final grind once it's um, heat treated. Uh, almost done, so uh, a little bit more to go. But there's about a, a mil on the edge here and I'll just take it down to just inside the lines that I marked. So I've got about, yeah, about a um, quarter of a mil to go on each side. Uh, so today I am just going to be drilling the holes for the handle pins. I'll start getting the handle sort of semi-sanded out and then after I've done that, I'm going to um, just 
hit these with a bit of um, sandpaper and smooth off um, each side. So these center pop holes are for the brass pins for the handles, but what I'll also do is center pop a heap of holes in between. Um, so when this knife is all assembled, the handle will just be a little bit lighter. So you take a bit of metal stock out of this, um, just lightens it up a little bit. So I just drill a heap of random holes around the place, not going too crazy. Um, some people even cut a huge void in this handle here. But I'm just going to drill um, maybe eight or nine holes and um, should be good. So the next step, um, I've drilled all the holes, the handle. Um, I've just got to drill the um, two holes for the pin. And I'm just use brass rod. Uh, this is quarter, quarter inch brass rod. Uh, I'm also going to um, sand all this down. And that's all just done by hand, unfortunately. So it takes a bit of time. Just running a file over it to pick up any um, high spots. Just where the handle's going to be sitting where you drilled the holes. This is the water I'm using here. I think you call it a champ for Laurel or something like that. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure on the exact pronunciation. This is from the same piece of wood. So yeah, try and match them up the best they can. So you've got this dark line running through here, and then the same, it's a bit darker and lighter, darker and lighter. So I'll try and have them that way, not that way. But yeah, I'll um, mark the first handle side out, drill some holes, and then fit the pins and then do the other side. Uh, I would use the drill press usually, but um, the chuck's a bit bent on it, so it sort of wobbles around a little bit. Uh, so yeah, the pins, holes have been drilled. Everything lines up. Obviously that's um, your rough handle. Uh, I've got black liners in there. Um, I like black. I've used white ones before. You can use get all different colours, but black goes good with everything. Anyway, I'll um, trace it out on the other side take the knife away and start cutting it out. So yeah, roughly cut out the handle. Uh, and then I just hit it up on the sander and tidy it up a little bit. I'll probably put the knife back in here uh, just to make sure I don't go too far. See how I go. Oh well, that's mostly done. Um, just the rough outline shape. I just got to get this piece with a few hand files and whatever, and just chew that bit out, and um, so I don't nick this piece. And yeah, I took that piece off there. Uh, looks a lot neater. It's been a couple of days since I've been able to get into finishing these knives off or going to the next stage, which is um, heat treating. Um, pretty much because it's been uh, fire bans during the day and everything because we've had um, a fair bit of wind and um, and some hot conditions. So it's nearly 7 o'clock and, um, and there's almost no wind now which we've been pelted with wind the last couple of days. So before I crank this up, uh, a few things that I've got on hand is a magnet, uh, some gloves and a lighter, a pair of pliers, um, I've usually got a big pair of tongs that hold the metal, but I'm just going to have to mad dog it with a pair of multi-grips. 
and uh, it's not ammunition. This is um, just canola oil in here. I just keep in there. So that's to quench it in. Getting pretty close. So it's still magnetic. The blade's non magnetic. A little bit longer. Oh, well, there's the two knives, heat treated. Um, I've got to chuck these in my barbecue for a couple of hours. I'm pretty sure the cycle is uh, two hours, do that twice at 200 degrees with this steel. I'm pretty sure I have to double check, it's been a while. Um, yeah, so that just like de-stresses all the metal. So you've hardened it and if you probably drop this at the moment, it might shatter into two or three bits, I've done it before. It's not, um, it's not awesome. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go enjoy the sunset. So I finished heat treating the knives yesterday. Uh, put them in the furnace and hardened them and actually just put them in your barbecue. And you'll see this one here. It's got a bit of a, um, like a tarnish color on it. So now, yeah, we're just gonna clean it up. It'll obviously be a bit harder to work with now because it's it's hardened but we'll give it a polish up and see how she goes uh, now I've pretty much um, sanded most of it uh, pretty good um, I'm just gonna polish up the bevel a little bit um, on the grinder this is the part I usually fuck up I'm not too skilled in this um, process but um, I'll give it a crack it's hit and miss 50-50 So this knife now, I've uh, pretty much finished all the sanding on it. But uh, yeah, other than that, I've just got to clean all the handle up, all in amongst these holes here, clean it all out with a bit of um, alcohol wipes and whatever, make sure there's no grit and stuff in there. And then I've got some two-part epoxy glue, which is pretty much like a uh, aerodite. I'll tape up the blade so I don't get any um, glue in that on the blade. And glue the handle, clamp it together for keep it uh, a couple of days. Make sure that glue's pretty hard, and um, and then final sand on the handle. And then after that, an oil. Do it oil. I just use tongue oil usually. So it's um, knife gluing time. We've got part A, which is resin, and part B, which is a hardener. Time is 12 hours at 70 degrees, so probably like 24 hours at this temp. Um, I'm just going to take the handle apart. I'm going to clean up the blade all in these holes here. I've got some um, just some rubbing alcohol and a bit of um, makeup pads which I use for knife sharpening and clean up all the parts of the handle. Right, yeah, now I've um, cleaned everything. It's just a matter of mixing the resin and um, putting the knife together. Uh, so yeah, now I just um, leave it there to dry pretty much. Uh, so this morning, just taking the clamps off the knife. Uh, it's been drying for about a bit over 12 hours. And um, yeah, everything's fairly hard, but I'm just not gonna 
I'm not going to sand it for another day or so, just to make sure it's um, completely dry. Yeah, just release all the little clamps I've got going on here, whatever I could find really. And this one off. Uh, yeah, so I'll just let this um, set for a bit before I sand the handle and then I'll do the final sharpen on this. Um, it's near sharp now. You could cut a steak with it. But um, yeah, I'll put it on my uh, knife sharpening jig and sharpen it properly. <sighs> Nearly finished this knife. Uh, this is the exact replica shape of the first knife ever made. Um, I've made a few of these uh, over the years. Uh, I've only ever made probably, I don't know, 30 or 40 knives. I don't really keep count. But um, when I get the opportunity to do it, I'll, um, I'll get my gear out and give it a crack. I'm definitely no expert. But uh, I've decided to, with this knife here, I never sell any of my knives. I just give them away. Uh, so this one here is our first ever YouTube giveaway. Yeah, I don't want any likes and shares and all that sort of crap. It's just fairly simple. Uh, this will be at the end of the video, and if you've watched to the end, um, we appreciate it. And you can leave a comment in the comment section below um, that you want the knife. We'll put you in a drawer. We'll pull some names out of a hat, saying um, two weeks' time from posting this video. And the winner will be drawn, and I'll get your details off you, and, um, and I'll cover the postage costs and send you the knife. Uh, it's definitely not perfect. There's always some flaws. But yeah, the knife's, um, the knife's pretty good anyway. It's a good all-rounder. So yeah, if you want the knife, just leave a comment uh, below and um, we'll put you in the drawer. And thanks for watching. Uh, well, that's... Uh majority of it done. I've left the tongue oil that I usually coat them all up with um, back at my parents place so I'll do that in the next couple of days when I get back there and um, and yeah finish these off. Give them a sharpen at the end and they're good to go. Uh, that one's already got a home. This one I'll keep um, for whatever. Might give it to someone for a birthday present or something and this one we're going to give away. Um, so yeah good times. Uh, so Savo, I'm just going to finish off the knife we're giving away. Um, it needs a bit of an oil and a sharpen, which I'll do in a minute. I've done a little bit of a sharpen on it on the belt grinder, uh, but I'm not super confident on, um, on doing them on the belt grinder, and I know I can get it perfect on my jig that I sharpen knives with um, every week. So yeah, it's just, uh, I gave it a little oil the other day just to see if it was all good to go. And um, so I just use 100% uh, pure tongue oil. Um, yeah, a lot of people use a lot of different oils for woods and whatever. Uh, it's pretty pricey but um, for how much you get, but it lasts uh, a fair long time. Obviously, um, any sort of natural wood's going to soak in oil uh, and you don't want to um, wash them with detergents because that'll just um, get rid of the oil and make them all dry and crumbly. But it's not too hard just to re-oil it again if you've got knives that are pretty dry and a bit sad. Um, just get a, any sort of wood oil and get into it. Yeah, just wipe off any excess. Smells great too. Uh, yeah, I'll get my knife sharpening kit out and um, whack it through the sharpener. And we'll see if we can get this thing um, shaving arms and cutting paper and all that sort of stuff. Got old Bucket O Bill up there just humming away, doing his thing. I'll just get the angle. 
Uh, to get the, um, the edge nice and even, I'll um, profile it with the uh, coarser grit. Start off with a coarse grit, get it all um, get it all even, get a burr on the other side, work the other side, get another burr, and then um, start from my lowest grit and then work my way up. So the end result is uh, is that it's um, fairly sharp, shaves the arm pretty easy. I'm not going to shave my face with it because it's going to be someone else's, but um, you definitely could. Uh, and then you got the old paper test. So yeah, it's always the good one. I hope whoever wins it um, uses it, enjoys it. Maybe takes it travelling and camping or whatever. But um, yeah, just uh, remember don't put it in any dishwashers and clean it pretty much straight after use. It will, uh, the blade won't always look this um, shiny. It'll go like a bit of a patina style grey colour. I've actually got the original knife ever made we take with us everywhere we go. Wait, hang on. This is the first knife I ever made. Um, and this one is an exact copy of that one. There you go. Uh, so you can see it's gone uh, fairly darky sort of grey and holds its edge amazing actually. So this steel will rust at the drop of a hat but um, it holds its edge for a long, long time. So yeah, hopefully you enjoy it. <laughs>